Wow, I am so impressed with this fabulous, brilliant faculty you've put together here and the creative artists that are on campus and the brilliant and talented students and I'm just, I'm just humbled and I, I think I can't possibly measure up to all of that. And I, but I did s discover something unique about myself. As a matter of fact, I've accomplished something that nobody else in here has. I'm an octogenarian. I'm over 80 years old. I've lived longer than anybody in this campus. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm really glad I'm a conductor because if I were a singer or a dancer, I wouldn't be able to do this at my age. Uh, I was born the middle child of 13 children. I was born in the middle of the Depression, in the middle of Nebraska, which is in the middle of the United States, on a farm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and a strong, strapping farm kid, I was not. <laughs> and I didn't even expect to get to go to high school. Uh, at my age, uh, the law didn't require yet uh, to go to high school, and so most of the German boys German farm boys in our um, area uh, didn't even go to high school. Uh, my older brothers and sisters didn't go to high school, but I got to go to high school. I think it's because my papa saw that there were a lot of kids and maybe this one, you know, is kind of frail and skinny. Maybe he ought to do something. I see, he let me go to high school. That was, that was a real honor for me. And then there's no way I even thought about college. That was just, that was totally out of the picture. And so uh, after high school graduation, we checked to see what the draft, and it looked like I was going to be drafted in December. So, okay, um, I'll uh, stay home and harvest corn, and then I'll go to the Army. And uh, this uh, local choral director at UNK, Bill Lynn, came to my town and he wanted me to play my tuba, and so I played the tuba, and he wanted me to sing a solo, so I sang the solo, and then he went out to, he said, I want to see your farm, and I, well, who would want to do that? Uh, okay, we didn't have anything else to do. We drove out there, went in the yard, my dad came out. He had a great personality. My dad had a great personality. They sat in the front seat, and they were joking around. He was asking me all kinds of things about the farm, got my dad all involved, and then all of a sudden, out of the clear blue eye, he said, Mr. Ely, I'd like him to go to our school. <clears throat> My heart went to my throat. I was just sure Papa was going to say, no, we can't do that. And he said, well, we don't know about these things. <laughs> and so Mr. Lynn started telling him. And in the end, he said, I'll tell you what, Mr. Ely, you let him come, I will be personally responsible for him. That's the middle of August, two weeks before school started. Two weeks later, I was in college and I didn't know what registration was and he said well, just fill out everything you can on this form and and then just bring it to me and I'll fill it out here where it says major put down music <laughs> and then from then on it was oh my word I had so wonderful teachers oh, wonderful teachers and so yeah so there was a person who came out and was interested. <laughs>